I tried all possible ways to make my rain lily bloom since the starting of summer. I tried highly effective fertilizers, cut their leaves half to encourage plants to push flower buds, and most importantly, I sprayed and poured rain water several times. Even plants got very good stroke of rain several times. So it's supposed to bloom, cuts rain lily, push flower buds after getting rain water. However, not a single trick worked, but through this experiment, I found a piece of surprising information about this plant and that I'm going to share in this video. Rain lilies need a certain environmental condition to bloom. Now let me give you a scientific explanation. Rain lily grows from underground bulbs. A bulbous plant mainly goes through two stages in its life cycle. One is the vegetative stage and another one is the reproductive stage. And the transition from one stage to another triggered by certain environmental conditions. Though rain lily is a summer flowering plant, but in summer it mainly develops its vegetative growth. After summer, when the weather shifts to monsoon, it also shifts the rain lily from the vegetative stage to the reproductive stage. And at this point, it produces flowers because flowers are the initial stage of a plant's reproduction. And based on that, we can say their flowering period generally starts from July and lasts till September. So if any rain between July to September hits this rain lily plant, it will produce flowers for reproduction. So a suggestion for you, just wait for the heavy rain of the monsoon. If your plant is mature, gets sufficient water and sunlight, then definitely it will bloom. Also flowering depends on the variety. If you have the common one like I have, then it only will bloom when it's monsoon. But there are some hybrid varieties are available. Those are actually continuous bloomers. So if you want rain lily flowers all year round, then try to grow the hybrid varieties. After flowering, snip the spent blooms, which will encourage this plant to push more flower buds. So the thing is, you have to wait. Till then, provide this plant sufficient sunlight and water and you can add compost occasionally. So hope this video will help you to understand the science behind the flowering of this plant. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.